Welcome back to another episode of the Okie Homies. We're going to cut the openings today for all of our doors and windows. This is the opening for the Freedom Doors. You can call them French Doors if you want, but I prefer Freedom Doors like my man Adam Carolla. Um, working with the grinder is uh, not fun necessarily, not hard. It's really loud, so definitely wear some ear protection. Um, I wouldn't wear flip-flops or shorts. If you get all of those sparks, is basically pieces of metal that are flying on or around you. Um, definitely wear some eye protection as well. Eyes and ears, just like you were out at the range. Uh, if you want to wear a full face shield, be my guest. I don't think you really need one, but hey, it couldn't hurt. They tend to fog up a lot. Um, working on the ladder is not fun because the blades tend to kind of want to wander since it's the only flat service runs vertical. Oh, and here I almost kill a camera. Boom! Knock that thing three feet up under the container, roughly three feet. Here I am making sure I didn't die, didn't kill it, but there's the opening cut. Um, here's the bedroom window. The I have to do the cut shots of it falling out. Kitchen window. Tried to get something cool there. I don't know. Kind of a cool shot. But anyway, it gets cut out. We end up with our holes. I cut all of these basically three inches too wide, top and bottom. That way I can make room for the framing. I can frame to the wood. Um, just gives me some options so if you cut the holes too narrow not wide enough your windows aren't going to fit so this way I can just fill in with wood with the framing but here I am just kind of grinding away some of the uh, stuff left over by the grinder some of the rough edges trying to get it somewhat so it doesn't cut you it's still going to cut you and for the freedom doors you got to cut basically shave down what's left now I get to make some frames. This is more grinder work. You get pretty good with a grinder when you use it all the time though. Thought about buying a chop saw, but nah. Heck with it. I'm pretty good with a grinder. Decent enough. So I'm notching these out to make the window frames so they fit in there. I thought about doing a 45. It's just way too much work. It's just a whole lot easier to do it like this. A whole lot easier to measure it as well. But anyway, um, if you're going to buy metal, which you're going to have to buy metal, obviously, buy it from a metal supplier. Don't go to Lowe's or Home Depot. It's way, way cheaper, way more or less expensive, cost effective, if you will, to buy it from a, a supplier, metal supplier. I was able to get 80 feet of 2 inch by 2 inch angle, 8 inch thick for about $140, $150 with tax. If you were to do that at Lowe's or Home Depot, if they have it in stock, it's probably going to cost you around four or five hundred bucks. I'm not a very good welder, but I'm good enough. There's the Freedom Door frame done. Uh, that is the bathroom frame put in, ready to be welded. You're going to need clamps, basically just to pull it back even, because as you cut out that hole, the walls will kind of wander. And you'll need to be able to pull them back in and hold it with your hand and trying to weld. It's not going to work out too well. Again, not a very good welder, but good enough. Um, got them all welded in. Didn't get video of it all, of course. Why would I? But got them all welded in. And then for our next episode, we're going to be framing up some 2x3s. I'll see you then. Later.